He was the only person jailed after terrorists stormed our consulate on 9-11 in Benghazi, despite having nothing to do with the attack. An instance of Muslims filmmaker, Nikula Basley Nikula, has given a new interview, and he says that he wants the world to see the truth about Islamic extremists. But first, a reminder of how he was blamed for the terror attack that killed four Americans. We've seen rage and violence directed at American embassies. What does it matter? Internet video that bitch. we had nothing to do with. Lying, in bitch. To Lying son a of a video, bitch. A film. Oh, brother. That we have judged to be reprehensible and disgusting. Oh, you're reprehensible. Of course, as you know, uh, there worse. was a violent protest outside of our embassy uh, sparked by this uh, hateful video. A crude and disgusting video. Oh, yeah. Sparked outrage throughout the month of lying fucker. Well, Nikula is still in federal custody in a halfway house in California, but he's just spoken to the Daily Caller. He says, quote, I'm not afraid. I want the world to see the truth. I have many Muslim friends. They do not believe in terrorism culture like many others. We have to keep fighting against this culture to protect our future generations and our civilization. He said, if I could go back, I would do it again. He's also writing a book dedicated to both the victims of Benghazi and of terrorism around the world. So Dana, he has had death threats on him. Uh, he actually thanked the U.S. government for keeping him safe through all of this. Um, the administration has also characterized this video as hate speech, Islamophobic, and all he's doing is trying to educate the world on something that this administration says doesn't exist, that we're not at war with radical Islam. What's wrong with that? Look, we're coming up on a year since the Benghazi attacks, and I remember um, it was on a Saturday morning that I woke up. I sent an email to Greg and another friend, and I said, I cannot believe that the United States of America, that the government is going to try to blame somebody who made a video for deaths of, other, for deaths of Americans in Libya. This can't possibly be happening. And yet here we are a year later, and he is in jail for unrelated reasons. He had uh, probation violations, and he had used... Uh, an, a, an alias. It's not that he hadn't done anything wrong, but he's done anything wrong. You don't go around in America picking up everybody that is on a parole violation and put a towel over their head and make them go into jail for a year. And nobody, not the ACLU, nobody from Hollywood has turned out to help this guy. The other thing he said, Andrea, and I'll, I'll stop there, is he said this war, meaning the war on terrorism, mm -hmm. the war against uh, the United States and Christians, does not use weapons but minds. I am talking about how much the world will suffer because of this culture if we do not stop it as soon as possible. Amen. Now, in the video, the administration watches it from the White House Situation Room and says, my goodness, this is horrible. It is hate speech. I, it, I just find that really hard to believe that, that, ha that it happened and that no, we're a year later. That's why. still 